Hello ladies and gents and welcome back. It's uh, Tony McStravick and in this uh, tutorial, uh, this video today, uh, we're going to be uh, starting to put our uh, blog together and uh, using Optimized Press and uh, if you haven't come across Optimized Press before then you're undoubtedly in for a treat. It is fantastic. Um, so if you haven't already purchased Optimized Press then uh, look, please go away, uh, do purchase it. It will be amongst one of the best purchases you will ever make in, in terms of uh, internet marketing or, or, or you know putting your blog together, whatever, whatever it is. But for any affiliate marketer, internet marketer or, or multi-level marketer, uh, Optimized Press is absolutely fantastic. There is so much to it in terms of squeeze pages, sales letters, offers pages, launch funnels, bonuses, pages and so on and so forth. But today you know, we're going to put uh, our blog together using Optimized Press and uh, it really is great. What is, what is really good about Optimize Press for those that want want a blog and to put it together, and I know that uh, anybody that comes into my team, you know, I, I urge them to use Optimize Press because uh, the great thing is, as you build your team, uh, then you can, uh, you know, get your members, your team uh, to use Optimize Press, and uh, it just makes it a lot more productive throughout the team, and it makes it a lot more easier, and it certainly is a lot more professional. So, guys, what we need to do now uh, is once we've purchased it, once you've purchased it, you need then to uh, download Optimize Press. It's a very simple process. Just over in the left-hand side, click uh, Download Optimize Press. Now save it somewhere on your uh, on your uh, hard drive, preferably your uh, desktop for the time being. That's what I do. I download anything to there until I finish working with it, and then I'll put it into a file. I'm not going to download it here because I've already got it downloaded. What we then need to do is we need to go to our dashboard, our back office in, in, in WordPress. We want to then go over to our themes because we you want to install the theme. I've already got it installed here, but I'm still going to take you through the process. Now, once we've got the, uh, you know, you come to install themes, we've downloaded it to our desktop, preferably. We now want to upload it. So we press upload. We want to browse our computer. We want to go to desktop. You want to find that zip file. You don't want to do anything with that zip file. You want to leave it completely intact. Okay, so we're going to find Optimize Press here. Click on Optimize Press, open the file, and then you're going to install it now. Obviously, I'm not going to install it because it's already installed. Now, once you do have it installed, okay, you're going to go to Optimize Press. This page will pop up. This is the page that you'll be looking at once you've got it installed, okay? Now, the one thing that you will not have is Optimize Press is activated. You haven't activated uh, your Optimize Press site yet, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. And again, it's very, very simple. What we need to do, we need to go back over to the Optimize Press members area. Okay, over in the right hand side, it says license your Optimize Press site. We need to click on that. And there is also a video tutorial, Optimize Press are very good. I'm just putting this video together and showing you because I think, you know, to see uh, a blog being made in front of you, you can get a gist of, uh, of uh, a better gist of how to put it together. In my opinion, I know uh, when I was starting out, that's exactly what, what, what I wanted. And when I seen somebody doing it, it, it made a great deal more sense. Um, so this is the reason why I'm putting it together for you. Now, you want to come down to first time licensing your site stroke domains. Okay. Now in here, I'm not going to put mine in because I've already activated mine, but you want to put yours in there and it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot. Um, and it's going to be your domain dot com, your name domain dot com. Okay. Now, once you put it in there, you just need to hit submit. And when you hit submit, what it'll do, it'll get, then give you your, uh, your your licensing key, okay? Which is going to be your email address, okay? But you, you'd still need to go through this process anyway to register the, the uh, domain and to get your license, okay? Now, once you've uh, got your, uh, just copy and paste it or whatever your email address is, you then need to come back over to your general settings. And again, where it says Optimize Press is activated, it's not going, it's obviously yours isn't. I'm just going to reiterate this again. That there will be a box here that will tell you to put in your license key. You pop in your email address, your license key is going to be your email address. And then you activate and it will say Optimize Press is activated. It's, it's as simple as that. Okay. Now, there's only one other thing that we're going to do in this video and we're going to change our permalink settings. Okay. So we need to actually go into WordPress settings itself, not Optimize Press, but we're going into WordPress settings. We're going to go to uh, permalinks. We're going to click on permalinks. Okay. 
Now, you're going to have something that's very different. I forget what it is. It's going to be all kind of gobbledygook and category, so on and so forth. We want to change that to the, the custom structure. What you want to, because it'll, it'll be on default, something like that. And you want to come down here. You want to click on custom structure. Okay. And then you want to put in forward slash percentage, post name, percentage forward slash. Okay. When you've done that, just exactly how it is, go down and save changes. And you can see here where it says post name. Now this is the way that when you write uh, an article or you write a blog post or you're doing a video, whatever the case may be, it's a lot easier for Google to come along and read just exactly, you know, the bots can make much more sense of it. It will give you better rankings. And so that's why you definitely, definitely uh, need, need, need to do it that way okay and uh, that's it that, that's it for this video we're gonna in the next video we're gonna get down to the nitty-gritty of uh, we're gonna start putting our blog together so i'll see you in the next video